On the A320, there are two ventilation systems, lavatory and galley system and avionic system. The lavatory and galley system is fully automatic. Cabin air is passed through the lavatory and galley areas and is removed by an extraction fan. This fan pulls air into an extraction duct and then releases it overboard through the outflow valve. Note, the extraction fan runs continuously provided electrical power is available. There are no controls or indications associated with the lavatory and galley ventilation system. Now let's look at the avionics ventilation system. The avionics ventilation system provides cooling air for the avionics equipment. This equipment includes the avionics compartment, the flight deck instruments and the circuit breaker panels. Let's now look at how the system works. Air is circulated by two fans, a blower and an extractor. These fans operate continuously as long as the aircraft electrical system is supplied. On the ground, provided that the skin temperature is above a specified value, air is taken from outside the aircraft via a skin air inlet valve. A section of the ECAM CAB press page displays avionics ventilation system information. The vent, inlet and outlet indications provide information on the state of the inlet and extract systems. Normally they remain white. The air is blown through the avionics equipment, extracted and then discharged overboard via an extract valve. Both valves are open. This is the open circuit configuration. Note, in most cases, you will see this indication when the aircraft is on the ground. In case of extreme hot air temperature, an optional avionics ground cooling unit can be installed. It ensures the cooling of the avionics ventilation air when the aircraft is on ground, the engines are stopped and the ground cool push button switch is in auto position. The outside air is drawn by the ground cool fan through the inlet valve and the cooling unit. Then it is discharged overboard via the outlet valve. On the ECAM page, the ground cool indication gives the state of the avionics ground cooling system. Normally it remains white. When skin temperature below a specified threshold and in flight or on the ground with thrust levers at takeoff power, both inlet and extract valves close. The system uses air from avionics compartment. Circulated air is also cooled by a skin heat exchanger. Both valves are closed. The system is in closed circuit configuration. This is the normal in-flight configuration. In warm ambient conditions, the system may go to an intermediate configuration. It happens when skin temperature is above a specified threshold and in flight or on ground with thrust levers at takeoff power. In this situation, the equipment is cooled with air coming from the avionics compartment and air coming from the skin exchanger. A small internal flap on the extract valve opens to exhaust some of the heated air overboard. To summarize, open circuit, the equipment is cooled by outside air. Closed circuit, the equipment is cooled by compartment air and a skin heat exchanger. Intermediate, the equipment is cooled by compartment air and a skin heat exchanger, then partially exhausted overboard. The skin air inlet valve is located on the left side of the aircraft 
and the extract valve on the right side. Both valves are inspected during the pre-flight walk-around for damage or obstruction. On the overhead panel, there is a ventilation panel that contains three push-button switches associated with the ventilation system. During the pre-flight cockpit scan, you should confirm that these switches are in their lights-out position. The avionics ventilation system will then operate automatically and requires no further pilot input. Let's look at some abnormal indications associated with the ventilation system. The fault lights on either the blower or the extract push button switches illuminate in case of low pressure, computer problems, or as a smoke warning. In addition, the blower fault light illuminates to indicate a duct overheat. These abnormal cases will also be reflected on the ECAM cabin pressure page, depending on the circumstances. In the example shown, both inlet and outlet indications have changed to amber. Since this is a fault with the ventilation system, the vent indication also turns amber. The override mode is used during ECAM abnormal procedures. When only the blower push-button switch is set to override, the blower fan stops and the extract fan continues to run. The system goes into closed configuration with, in addition, cooling air from the air conditioning system. Only when the extract push-button switch is set to override will the reconfiguration of the ventilation system occur. To ensure adequate avionics equipment cooling, closed configuration, both fans continue to run. The avionics smoke procedure requires both push-button switches to be set to override. In that case, the air conditioning system supplies cooling air, which is then exhausted overboard. The blower fan stops. Let's see the corresponding indications on the ECAM cabin pressure page. The outlet valve is indicated as being partly open. In fact, the small internal flap has opened, allowing air from the ventilation system to be discharged overboard. Let's now study an extract valve fault. Look at the indications, a failure message, and associated ECAM procedure have appeared on the engine warning display, a fault light has illuminated on the ventilation panel and the ECAM cab press page has been automatically called to show amber vent and outlet indications. These are showing that there is a problem with the extract system. The ECAM actions have now to be performed. In the case of a ventilation extract fault, the procedure is to select Override, the extract push-button switch, located on the ventilation panel. Set the extract push-button switch to Override. When you switch to Override, the Override white light illuminates the fault light extinguishes and, on the engine warning display, the blue action line disappears. Notice there are no changes in the system display. By setting the extract push-button switch to override, the ventilation system remains in closed configuration. Both fans continue to run to ensure adequate ventilation.